Well, my name is Kimberly Travaglino, and I am wife to Christopher Travaglino and mother of four children and a full-time RVing family. Um, we came to Redemption actually a year ago this Sunday, and we came from what we thought were very tragic circumstances. Uh, a year ago yesterday, we lost Chris's mother, Beth is mo Beth's mother, uh, very unexpectedly, and um, Daniel and Laura came to our house and helped minister to us and uh, shared uh, their thoughts and, and shared their faith about the situation with us and then helped perform the service on Karen's, for Karen. And then um, we were looking for a church home and we decided to start going to Redemption. And uh, it's been one of the greatest blessings in our family's life. We are a family of what I like to call baby believers um, we've been, I've been saved for 14 months right now. Um, Chris has been saved for 11 months right now. Um, and uh, the last year has just been an awe-inspiring journey um, for our family and uh, for walking with God in faith for um, what we do. And just to give you a little example of what we do, as full-time RVers, we have the opportunity to go anywhere and do anything, which is a mixed blessing uh, and sometimes a double-edged sword. Sometimes there's just too many choices uh, to, to choose from and it's, it could be overwhelming. And being able to bring Jesus into our journey in this very um, intimate and effective way has, has opened up a whole new path for us that we didn't even understand was there. Um, and now we can literally go to God and say, what should we do next, God? Where should we go next, God? Where can we go to glorify you, Lord? In the last 14 months since I've been on my faith walk and been diligent and intentional about uh, having a relationship with Jesus and getting to know who he is, I found that I am um, immersing myself in the Word, that I make special time in the morning to spend that time and uh, meditate on God's Word and to pray, that I pray throughout the day. I really ascribe to uh, Philippians uh, 4, um, don't worry about anything, but through prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, bring all your concerns to God. I, that is a daily thing that I do. One of the things that we are extremely diligent about as a family is tithing. It is uh, a very important aspect of obedience in our lives and it's something that did not come naturally for us at all. It was very much an uphill battle. Um, as self-employed individuals we have the um, propensity to feel vulnerable because each week we have no idea what the funds will be and making sure that we give 10% and more each week is a struggle but on the same side when I do my balance and checkbooks in the, on Monday which is the day that I tithe um, I'm, I'm just always in awe and feel incredibly blessed to be able to write that 10% or over to the church or to people in need. Um, and I feel so thankful on Monday mornings that I have the opportunity to do that. Um, a lot of people feel vulnerable if they don't have a lot of money, and, and we have felt that way in the past too. Um, but knowing that there's an ebb and flow to money and that God's actually in control of what comes into our account has given us enormous amounts of peace. Your money that you do have is not yours to begin with. Your money that you have is through God's grace. And you might feel like, well, I worked really hard for my money and I deserve my money. And, and that's a flesh response to money because we do have a very strong flesh response to money. But the reality is all of the gifts that we're given are from God. And so God gives you these gifts and then asks you for your obedience in giving them back. And um, you might see that you are giving back in your time if you're um, volunteering. And you might see that you're giving back in other aspects. But if you're not giving back in this aspect, you're not only being disobedient, but you're robbing yourself from one of the greatest gifts of faith. And it might sound ironic, it might not make any sense how giving away money could actually bring more fulfillment and more provision into your life, but that is the absolute reality that our family has walked through. 
We have tithed when we have had nothing, and we have tithed on really good weeks. And that has led us to obedience in many other areas in our lives. It's not hard to be obedient to God. It's not always what we want to do. In fact, a lot of times it's not what we want to do, be obedient. Um, but hearing God's voice and being obedient with money has been a gateway to being obedient in a lot of other aspects. I'm really thankful that God taught us this lesson so early on in our walk. You know, when we first started, we didn't know anything about the Bible. We didn't know verses. We didn't know anything, nothing. But uh, it was it was very easy, very cut and dry to say, God says give 10%, you must give 10%. And so that was something we could accomplish right off the bat. Well, um, I would like to end this video with a challenge to everyone who's watching it. And if you are not currently being obedient in your finances and you're not um, tithing your 10% to the church, then I want to challenge you for a whole month to, to tithe 10% at least, a minimum of 10% to the church. And then I want you to turn around and see the difference in your lives. Uh, if you want to go two months, awesome. I, I guarantee if you go a month, you'll go the rest of your life and then that you'll turn around and teach your children this very valuable um, obedience challenge for their lives as well.